Outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of great expectation and excitement. The Estadio Alejandro Villanueva, that's what the venue has been called since 2000 in honour of Alianza Lima's greatest star. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Sadio Mane. He's one of the paciest players around, Peter. He's a, a very dangerous dribbler and a fine finisher to boot. I particularly like the way he gives defenders a headache by drifting across the forward line, looking for gaps to, to probe and, and spaces to get into. I think he's going to be a really huge asset for this team. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. As you can see, we've already started here. And here's Abubakar. He's making good use of his strength there. He'll try from distance. A real chance and a real let-off. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. Just brushed off the ball there. Tries to dink it in. Mane goes for goal! These early exchanges have been frenetic. Looks like we have a proper game on our hands, Peter. Surely. And they've been caught out here. And the ball's come out. Played into the middle. Set a goal. I've made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Gorgeous control there. Mane. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. And that's been levered clear. Oh, Ricky! It's in! And Senegal score first. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now, that's what I call finishing. Right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Senegal take the lead. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Keeps everyone guessing. Out to the right. Well, that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Too much elaboration and not enough penetration. No damage likely. 
He's left his man. Tries to get it forward quickly. Nice touch. Chance, chance! He has done it! What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, look, Peter, who knows what's about to happen from here. Uh, I doubt this will be the final score, though. That's a throw. A really good feat from him. A chance to play it in. Has a hit! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Has a go! Oh, I like the little feint he came up with to produce the effort. Very, very tidy. Plays it out to the wing. He's got options out wide. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. That'll be the final action of the first half. So, a very watchable game so far. Action at both ends and the team's level. The midway point of the game. Well, for us neutrals, this is fantastic. If you're a fan from either side, it's unpleasant. And as for the managers, check your heart rate. Cameroon head into the dressing room after a half in which we've seen two goals, one each. And the game right on edge. And we're already into the second period. No changes at the interval from either side. That's not going to make it. Forward it goes. Plays it out to the flank. And managed to get it away. Chooses to go. Going for goal! Oh, that is rather wayward. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. And it's played forward. Hoists it forward. That's a goal kick. <laughs> 
He gets past his man. Defending of the desperate variety. In with the challenge. Oh, no question, that's a foul. And he's going long. Oh, he'd have done well to reach that. it over to the other flank and it's Mane Idrissa Gay who has made his impact already Forward it goes. Oh, good interception. Well, they could break here. Out to the left it goes. Played out to the right. Great leap! Goal! And the game is well and truly turned on its head. Well, the cross was inch perfect and the header unerring. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no sledge. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. And it's played forward, receives it from behind, goes for a sweeping cross. Whipped in. And that's been levered clear. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Tries to switch the play. Senegal are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. to get it forward quickly over to the left he ran himself into trouble there free kick given away I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out and the counter is on That's a throw. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise.
kept it behind for a corner kick. They've played it short. Up to meet it! Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Senegal can defend those situations better by stopping the cross at its source. He's made sure that that won't get through. Ford shows there will be three extra minutes. It is just a question of running down the clock now. And there goes the final whistle. Well, that's bounce back ability, responding superbly to come from behind, shrugging off setbacks along the way, and determinedly getting there in the end. So what do you take away from it?